Hi there. Suppose you are working in an international organization as a Power BI developer, and there you have to transform your data using Power Query. However, while working with Power Query, you encountered a problem that you have to do a lot of repetitive actions on certain files or certain data. Then how to overcome this one? And how to work efficiently? Well, the answer is custom functions in Power Query. What is it? And how to work with that? Well, guys, you will get to know everything in this video. So if you would like to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video, and I'm gonna let you know everything about it. My name is Ajay Kumar and I create all the contents on Microsoft Power BI and Azure. So if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get started. First of all, you have to open your Microsoft Power BI desktop. As you can see that on my screen, I have opened my Microsoft Power BI desktop. Now, if I take you on my desktop, I have two files. One is geography data to another is geography data. So only two files are there. Basically, I have the same data, but I just make it duplicate so that I can create my custom function and I can show it to you guys. Let's go back on my Power BI desktop. On my Power BI desktop, I'm going to get data from Excel file. So click on this one. And here I'm going to select this geography data file. So click on open. Now you just need to simply select this sheet over here and here I'm going to transform the data. Once you get your data over here, you can make all the necessary changes that you would like to. That means all those actions that you have to perform on each and every file. So this time what we are trying to do, we are trying to create a custom function in Microsoft Power Query where we can see that if we have a multiple files, then how we can do the same without repeat all those actions again and again. So you can see that on my right hand side, I have applied step and there are already certain steps are appearing because it is by default by Microsoft Power Query. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove certain columns. So for example, I'm going to remove these two columns from here. And also I'm going to remove this latitude and longitude column. After that, I'm just going to apply some group by action over here. For that, you can go to the home tab and here you can select group by. And then you can provide your conditions. For example, in advanced tab, I can say group by country and the city and also by the region that I would like to. So that's all I'm going to do over here. And here you can see that you have even the count, but I really don't need the count. But what I really want to do, I want to remove certain things from here, like for example, not set. So I'm going to filter it out. I really don't need this column as well. So let me remove this. In my previous step, basically, I took all these columns, which is this not set. But what I really want to do, I want to remove this not set. So here I'm going to say does not equal and click OK. Now I have my right data. So let me go on my last step again and here this is my data. So each and every time whenever I am getting data from an Excel file, I want to perform these operations on my data. And that is what I'm calling repetitive actions. Maybe in your case, it can differ from this state. Maybe you just want to get first row as a header, then you want to remove the duplicate, you want to apply the filter, etc. So these actions can vary. So please don't go too much into this detail but what you have to do your real work starts from here first of all you have to create a parameter and here we are going to create a parameter for the file path over here if you will go in the advanced query editor you will see this is your file path so each and every time whenever you are going to get a new file so the file path would be different and this can also happen in case you are getting a file from a folder so whether you're going to get the files from a folder or you are going to get individual files, you should have one particular path over there. I'm going to copy this one. And for this, I'm going to create a parameter. In order to create a parameter, just come here and create new parameter. And I'm going to give it a name file path. I'm going to come here and I'm going to provide a data type value, which is going to be text over here and keep it any value. And here we can give the current value the same part that we just copied over here. Parameter is really important if you are going to create 
a custom function in Power Query, otherwise it won't work. So now click on this OK button. And here you can see this is your parameter over here. Now we have to apply this parameter into our query as well. So how can you do that? For that simply come here and you can just select this one again. And here you have to provide the path. But also before that you have to use this hash symbol over here, which is going to depict that you want to utilize the parameter where you can see this is your file path. So now this query is going to use the parameter over there and which you can change anytime you would like to. So now click on this done button and now we are ready to create a custom function. So how to do that? Well, you can come on left hand side pane and here you can right click on this sheet name and here you would find this function create function. If you haven't created a parameter, maybe for date, maybe for file path, up to you what you really want to apply over there. But since we are going to apply these steps on every file, so we have to create on file path. Once you do that, then you have to right click on the file name and then click on this create function. And that is going to utilize that file path parameter over here. So click over here and here it's going to ask you what name you would like to give it. So I'm going to say Excel transformator. So this is just a name. You can give it any name, of course. And after that, select OK. And now you see that you have created one custom Power BI function. So how it's going to work now? Well, as I mentioned, I have another file as well, which is geography data 2, which has basically the same data. Now I want to apply all these steps again into this one. So rather than doing one by one, what I can do, I can simply use my file path into the custom function that I had just created. So go back over there and here I'm going to provide the same path. So I just need to change this path over here. But in your case, you can just copy the same path again and just paste it over there. And now click just on invoke. And here is your data again. So in this time, you can see that on applied step, I didn't apply any of those steps. So if you will go in the first part here, you can see that you are applying so many steps. But in this one, last one, we are not applying any of those steps. And you can even rename it if you would like. So guys, this is custom power query functions. This is very helpful when you have to apply all those same actions again and again on multiple files or you are going to use it again and again. And you can also copy these functions and can utilize in another Power BI files. I hope now you have clear understanding about custom functions in Power Query. What is it and how to work with it? If you still have any question and concern, please don't forget to let us know. And also, if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. See you in the next video.